Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is the Hasbro PulseCon 2020 exclusive Quitasan Pit of Judgment. Now, taking a look at it in the box, very nice looking box design. I love the diorama in the background in there and how the figures are displayed. It's a very nice touch and I really hope Hasbro does more of that in the future with their exclusives. Take a look at the side of the box. Very nice box art design over there. And the back of the box with that very iconic 1986 movie scene. Okay, let's get this guy out of the package. Here is the Quintesson Pit of Judgment out of the package and you get several things, starting off with the instructions. You get a set of full color instructions here. And the cool part about it is it has the names for the heads. You have Doubt, Death, Wrath, and you also have Wisdom and Wit. You also get a Prosecutor figure, Kranix, a Sharktacon, which is a repaint of the Titans Returns Gnaw, a Bailiff figure, which is a retool and repaint of the Alicon, along with his weapons. They come pre-assembled. And the Quintesson Judge with his throne here. So I'm gonna go over these individually, starting with the Prosecutor here. Very cool looking, nice clean paint dabs. Here's the back. He does have a 5mm port on the bottom, so if you want to plug in a weapon, I guess you can. Here's the Megatron's Fusion Cannon. Now, there's no articulation on the figure except on the head. It can rotate, but it's also on a 5mm peg as well, so I guess you can do that. Still, very cool looking figure. Next, we have Kranix. Very nice sculpt. Let's take a closer look at the head here. It does have some painted details on the eyes if it can focus. There you go. Very slight. Still very nice clean paint apps. Unfortunately there's no articulation on this figure. It's just like a little rubber minifigure and that's about it. Looks like he has two ports on the bottom of his feet. I wonder if, yeah, one is blast effect <laughs> compatible. So if you want Kranix as a blast effect, you can. The other one might be Titan Master compatible. So I have Super Megatron here who does have some Titan Master ports because he's a retool of Titan's Returns Galvatron. And yeah. It can be pegged into the Titan Master port and a Blast Effect port. After Kranix, we have Sharktacon, which is a repaint of Titan's Returns Gnaw. And for comparison, here is Titan's Returns Gnaw. I think the colors here look more like the movie. But uh, still very cool looking. Would have been nice if they gave us two of these, but we only got one. And for a little size comparison, you can see him here. He is next to Cyberverse Gnaw. I think Cyberverse Gnaw's size makes a lot more sense. So I'm really glad I got a bunch of these. Let's transform him into robot mode. There he is in robot mode. Nifty little figure, but uh, ever since I got Cyberverse Gnaw, I think this version of the Sharktacon is a little too small. A lot better articulated though. Looking at the articulation of the figure, the head can rotate 360. The arm is on a ball joint. It does have elbow bend more than 90 degrees but he can't go down more than this just because of the design of this becoming his uh, shark leg but it is on a ball joint so can rotate like this as well 
The legs are also on a ball joint. You can do the splits, kick a little bit this much, kick this far back, and kind of bend at the knee. No ankle tilt. But again, this is a figure from the Titans Returns era. So the articulation was good enough back then. Oh yeah, no waist rotation as well. Still, very cool looking figure and really makes sense for the set. And for some size comparisons, here is Shark Decon next to Cyberverse Null in robot mode and the Bailiff in robot mode. And like I said, I think this is a much uh, better scale for uh, a Shark Decon, but this has way better paint apps and articulation than this one. Next, we have the Bailiff. Here's his weapon. This part is a little bit more rubbery than this part. This one is a little bit more, well, a lot more stiff, but you can take it apart. And the Bailiff himself, take a closer look at him. Again, he is a repaint and retool of the Alicon. Um, I think the only thing I noticed that's different is the head is new, the spikes here on the shoulder, and the chest is also different. I think the head is a lot higher. Let me bring in the Alicon here so you can see them side by side. And you can see, yeah, the chest is different, the head is different, uh, of course different paint apps. Uh, he has these higher spikes on his shoulders. But I think that's the main differences between the two. But yeah, new chest and new head and new shoulder pads. Looking at it from the back, it looks pretty much the same. Now to put his weapon on, you basically put this part from the bottom and this part from the top to make like he's holding this ax. And the weapon can also store on his back. Again, just take the part and put it back together. There's a little slot here that can go on this tab. Going on to the articulation of the figure, the head is on a ball, can rotate technically 360, but his mouth is in the way. So you can only look left and right. The arm can rotate 360, can lift up at the shoulder only this high because that is in the way. He does have bicep rotation and he can bend at the elbow. He also has wrist articulation. The waist, he lift up this flap, he can rotate 360 or so. You gotta move this mouth out of the way. He can do the splits. He can kick this much this far back, bend at the knee this much, and he does have ankle tilt. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to Siege Megatron, the Netflix version, and Earthrise Airwave. Okay, let's get him transformed into his beast mode. Here's the Bailiff in Beast Mode. His weapon can, again, attach on his back, similar to Robot Mode. I forgot to mention in Robot Mode, he does have this tail knife that he can put on his hand. Nice painted details on the head. Would have been nice if there was some paint details on the back, maybe like on the fins here. Now, as far as articulation goes, he does have articulation in the mouth. So you can open it up like this. The arms here, just going up and down. And same articulation on the legs, because it's basically the robot legs. You can eat Kranix. Overall, a very nice figure. I mean, he does have some hollowness here, but it's not too noticeable. I like the fact that the jaws can open up all the way like this. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to Cyberverse Gnaw and Titan's Returns Gnaw. 
Again, I think he fits a lot better with Cyberverse and all. Last but not least, we have the Quintesson Judge with his throne. Now, one thing really cool is take this apart. You have the cage and take the top out. He does come with a gun. Does have a blast effect port here. And his tentacles can hold it in one of these pegs like so doesn't really hold the bend but uh, I guess he can make like he's holding the gun so each tentacle has one of those pegs for the gun and per the instructions you can store the gun here just in case he wants to grab it real quick let's take him off of his throne so his throne he is pegged onto his throne there's a little peg here so very cool but he can stand without it nice blast effect on the bottom to remove it just press it down and then you can disengage it from the Quintesson judge let's take a closer look at the Quintesson judge now some of the mouths on these guys open and close like his one does very nice detail on it. This guy's mouth doesn't do anything, but very nice clean paint apps. Yeah, his one doesn't do anything either. His one does. But I really like the paint apps on the heads. Very nicely done. Now he does have this gimmick here. If you press this switch here, you can rotate the heads. Yeah, let's take a closer look at his throne. It's basically a seat that later on becomes ramps for him for his alternate mode. Nice detail on it. And of course you have some 5mm pegs there. And for some size comparisons in this mode, here he is next to Siege Megatron, the Netflix version, and Earthrise Airwave. Oh yeah, let's get him transformed. Here is the Quintesson Judge in his alternate mode. I guess it's some sort of base with a jail here. And the jail or cage can open up. Throw Kranix in here. And oh, it's not really much of a cage if you can escape. It's actually a pretty cool looking platform cage base of some sort. But personally for me, my Quintessons don't need to transform. This part though, it's just loose. I wonder if there's a way to, you know, it, it just rests on top of it. Still a nice feature to have for the Quintesson. Would have been nice if there was a hole on the bottom here so it could peg into one of these ports. Now it is compatible with other Earthrise ramps, so here's from Airwave, so you can attach it as well. Would have been nice if there were some paint apps on the inside here, a little plain. But I guess all the paint apps went to the faces, which is probably a better decision. So my final thoughts on the PulseCon 2020 exclusive Quintesson Pit of Judgment. Overall, I'm very pleased. Now, I don't have the Earthrise uh, Quintesson Judge, so I'm, I can't really compare it to that. Um, hopefully, I get one soon. But very uh, impressed with the Quintesson Judge figure itself, like the way it transforms, likes the, uh, the paint apps on the face. Um, now, the Bailiff, very cool. I do have the Alley Con, so it's really nice to see that um, he's not just a straight repaint, that you also have a new chest, a new head, and new shoulders for him. The Prosecutor, he's okay. At least the head can turn left and right. Would have been nice if there was some 
uh, ball joint just at this part of the arm. It doesn't have to be every individual tentacle, but maybe a ball joint there would have been nice. Uh, the weakest of the bunch, I think, is Kranix, um, as he's just pretty much a static figure. I would have preferred if at least the head could rotate or the arms. And we also get a Shark Decon, basically a repaint of Titan's Returns Gnaw. Very nice repaint. Personally, I would have wanted at least two in this set. I would probably pay an extra $10 just to get a second Gnaw in this set because just having one Shark Decon doesn't really give you that movie scene. Now the diorama that comes with the packaging is a nice touch. I really hope Hasbro does a lot more of these. I know they're not that sturdy. I mean, I can reinforce them with uh, foam core if I wanted to, but I just think having stuff like that is a nice touch to your packaging because uh, it makes it a nice display piece. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.